MXUX. I want to get right to this video. This is the reveal. This is the 4E414, the first Baja electric truck to run ever. World history. Lord Stan just released it. This is the first view right here. I want to get right to this video. I hope you guys like it. I am so excited. This truck is so badass. Uh, let me get right to the video here. Okay, here's the uh, Lordstown uh, website. Now, this is the Endurance. This is a, a photograph of the Endurance. And this is a little graphic they have on the site. And I just want to go through this to explain the, uh, the way this truck is constructed. Now, here is the frame, okay? Now, this is what they're racing, all right? As you can see, this is the frame they build in-house. They have, this is IP, uh, they build it. This is the battery, okay? That's all there is. I don't know what this is. Uh, this is uh, some controller, power controller. This is the whole truck. The wheel there, as you can see, there's no big bulges and motors and everything. All the motors are at the wheels, okay? Uh, this is an electronic component, uh, probably for charging. Uh, but uh, this is this is what they're building the race truck on. This is their starting point, okay? And this is the equivalent of having, you know, a big V8 motor and uh, a four-wheel drive system and all the drive shafts and everything. This is the electronic component. Uh, the electronic uh, version of that. So this is what I'm going to be showing slide uh, some video later of, of what they're building on top of this frame. But this is the starting point. So this is what the truck looks like, and you lift the unibody off, and that's what they're that's what they're running. And they they made they are running stock motors, stock battery. Okay, this is and stock frame. And they're going to build upon this frame. So they, they want to make sure that everybody knows that. Uh, that's not special in that sense. But, the, you know, the suspension components and other things are special. And then uh, if you go down here, this is the hub motor system. And, again, these are the hub motors. And we're going to have a better view of this later. And there's this is, as I said, this is what a regular race truck would look like. Although in a race truck for a Baja truck, they may put this bid mid frame or you know there's a whole lot of different configurations they use but let's just say they're racing a a ford uh kind of a stock class baja truck this would be the the uh the look of it and you see this is the power takeoff for the four-wheel drive and all this all this stuff is missing all this stuff is vestigial uh to the uh, uh the uh eco and there's the endurance frame and again that's it it's the whole thing man is that simple or what i'll tell you even compared to a tesla and again this is the uh ac dc converter i think for charging or the power distribution system whatever the point is even compared to a tesla look how i mean can it be a, it's almost a solid state truck and uh and this is just cost of ownership but again we'll just use this to show you the difference between uh, what the racing versions might look like between a, 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 an internal combustion engine and uh, the endurance. And uh, and these are some features of the import. And again, this is this is important. Fewer parts, less breakdown. And that's going to matter on the uh, on the Baja. And uh, and again, there's that that's these are the hub motors and this is kind of a transparent view. But this body is not, they're going to have a facsimile of this body. Uh, it's not going to be this body. So anyway, that's just a starting point. So you can get an idea of where we're going with this uh, for this racetrack. Hey, hi, everybody. This is MXUX, and uh, I'm going to take these headphones off here. Oh, they're killing me. This is uh, the first video that was put out by Lordstown today on the Baja truck, the E414. And this is the build video, and I'm going to pause it at spots here. Uh, getting the bar takes work, okay. Now, they're custom building all this. Uh, now, these are the Brethel Brothers uh, team. I don't know if that's one of the brothers or not, but this is 
they're fitting all these steel i imagine those are steel tubes high strength steel tubes and they're building a uh, roll cage and a rigidity cage uh, on top of the frame of the endurance the stock frame let me play that a little further here now this up here this they're going to use according to my information the stock frame the stock battery and the stock uh, uh wheel motors probably not the stock software okay probably not the stock control arms and suspension components but the battery the frame and the now according to the uh, plant that uh, ceo this frame is indestructible but uh they're building this uh this cage this cage is designed to protect the drivers in case of a rollover front to back or side to side and also to keep that frame super stiff uh so that all the uh, drivetrain and components work properly uh, you don't want it flexing and you don't certainly don't want it breaking although i doubt if it's going to break and uh, there's some welds and there's some cnc machining they're making custom parts obviously now there's a good picture this is again the protective frame and also the uh, providing rigidity to the frame of the truck and then this is the uh, truck frame the original uh, i believe this is a stock frame uh, from lordstown because the battery is built to fit inside this frame so i don't think they could use anything but a stock frame this is a cooling system probably for the batteries usually for a radiator in a regular truck but uh there's some driver cooling too that might be going on there one of those might be for the drivers anyway uh they have a hose that goes through their helmet let's just keep going here so that's that's what's underneath what looks like a truck and now i believe this is a suspension component here and that they may have reworked and made it longer so that the wheels can go up and down more and we got a lordstown guy working on that so this might be our driver i don't know i don't know who that is but he's torquing something there and these are battery components and uh that is a cooling line for the battery and uh, some other components welding component there now this is the infamous hub motor this is the motor this part here the black part these are lug nuts which the wheel is going to bolt onto this is the rotor of the motor this is what spins around and makes the wheel go around this is 150 horsepower uh 15,000 rpms at the wheel so the bolt, the wheel bolts on here and that's the motor they don't expect their, these motors should hold up just fine no problem we might get a flat tire but there's no as the analyst said from morgan stanley no you don't change the motor when you get a flat tire all you do is un it's like a regular tire anyway there you go uh again this is the truck and i believe this is a stock frame and looks like they may have added some pieces up here but anyway the idea is to build this safety cage now you got your uh, fire suppression system there these are power lines going to the wheels it looks like that's a modified suspension component these are some really big shocks to take the uh, to smooth out all the travel there and there is no door they crawl in through the window this would be the window and this would be the bed of the truck back here and this would be the front of the truck and now this is somebody now i do not believe they're going to limit the speed of this truck to 80 miles an hour like they do for fleet use that's my guess maybe i'm wrong but i think they're going to let it go wide open and that might be 130 miles an hour at least 120 and they do go on the trophy trucks go 130 on the uh, on the dry lake that part of this course so uh now there's the battery pack going in and again this is supposed to be a stock battery pack according to uh the ceo and this again is built to fit into this frame now as i said i watched a presentation where they were um kind of either oaring about the size of the battery 
and uh, it depends what cells they use and you know how they position those cells in the battery case to the as to the number of kilowatt hours they get and uh, as far as that goes you know these this steel tubular steel frame is probably lighter than the body uh, of the truck and uh, they've removed a lot of other components uh, that would probably be in the truck given it the curb weight the interior and so forth so this is probably going to be lighter it may have a, a bigger production battery or a bigger kilowatt hour production battery but that's the battery going in and they're torquing that in there's steve burns but they're pouring cooling in it looks like they're using prestone i believe that's cooling for the battery i don't think the motors have coolant lines although they may but i do not i don't think that they do i think that's just for the battery i think there's just two positives and one neutral electric line going to the wheel bars uh, but the battery they do have a small radiator in this truck and it's for uh, as i understand it cooling the battery and there's a there's a hub motor in action and again this is the only moving part is this part right here that is the rotor there you go and they're putting the wheels on it there now if we go back to that just for a second if i can get that i don't know if you can see this but he is putting that's like a speed fastener i believe this is a facsimile of a body pan now they may have these may be steel or they may be fiberglass, but just like in a NASCAR car, you know, they look like the real car, but really what they are is a, is a steel tube frame like this. And they have uh, either fiberglass or, you know, really thin metal, uh, probably aluminum body panels that go on the outside so that it looks like the truck, but in actuality, it's a, it's a facility, it's a, um, image of the truck it's not the, the uh, material the truck's made out of and there's the spare wheels they do get uh, flat tires and they give you a glimpse and that's it okay pretty interesting video but that should give you an idea of the internals of the truck i hope i can get this second video up to show you what the finished truck looks like I found the right video. This is the look of the final race truck. This is pretty uh, pretty cool. I've paused it here. There's some techno music in the beginning here. We're going to try to go through this and pause it uh, a little bit as we go through. But this is the first reveal of that frame that was initially shown with those body panels on. And the body panels also work help the cooling system work. And they also give some aerodynamics and uh, protection to the drivers and the machinery of the truck. They're not just totally a uh, facade, okay? But anyway, let's just go through this. All right. Oh, there's the front. That's a cool logo. Side. That's the dash. That's the side get ready to pause this so we can show it all right there it is now there's the production truck and there's the Baja truck you can see it's about four feet higher <laughs> of course you know you can lift the endurance and you can lower the endurance i'm sure because the wheel motors don't have drive shafts and things so but uh, you can see that is quite a bit higher and probably quite a bit bigger at least on the outside dimensions again with these body panels being bolted on that's not the actual unibody of the truck there's a side view and there's the production truck and again these are these are the speed fasteners we we're watching that guy put on i think it looks pretty cool <laughs> they got the logo up front there they got the lordstown flag on the top all right there is the e414 that is the first baja e electric truck this is the first electric truck this is historic this is the first electric truck to run the baja in the world this is a world premiere at the baja 
and this uh this is the short bed and of course the uh, the lord's time it comes with a 5.5 bed and uh, the long bed's an option option 6.5 but uh this is a good side view of the truck i think it looks pretty badass and the work for it is their logo and there's the lord's town logo but uh that's the truck i think it looks pretty cool man it's pretty badass all right and uh there it is again and check it out man cool now here's the cool thing when you buy one you can do that to your own truck if you want to i mean you know theoretically the tires and the wheels you know anyway there it is again that's another great view and uh, there's the spare tires they were putting on and there's the fire uh, suppression and uh, you can see the clearance here i mean there's probably three foot of travel in these wheels and again e414 that's the first this is the first number this is the first number ever given to a to an electronic truck in the baja this is uh you know this is his world history here this is historic um there it is now they're showing it coming over the bumps there they're taking it pretty easy i don't know uh, you know who knows what's going on there but anyway it's the truck let's just go back on that so, so we can see that wheel travel on that thing you see they have the lighting because this truck this race actually ends at night usually so it's that long i don't know i think it's five hours long or something like that uh anyway uh, they do have lights on the trucks let's see and there yeah now, well you can see the wheel travel now here's the thing about the endurance though it's got that low slung battery okay and it's pretty much perfectly balanced vehicle right because you know they've got it all worked out and then they got all the motors at the corners it's not like they have these heavy motors inboard on the on the on the truck so this should be a pretty wicked uh, race truck i mean not just on the baja but you know on the track too you know the thing is too they've got the the uh independent controllers for each wheel and that's uh traction control torque vectoring i mean uh, this truck is this propulsion system is so advanced and i think it's going to make such a difference uh on the endurance for this run there's no other truck on this track even the trophy trucks that's going to have a similar drive no one I mean, this is this is one of a kind, and this is a world premiere of that as well. And as well as simplicity, I had mentioned before that a, a broken drivetrain is a lot of the issues that happen with these trucks, and there is no no uh, drive shaft in these motors. They are pretty much solid state. They have one moving part. I do not think they're going to fail. They've been widely tested. They're engineered so that all the shock actually does not go to the motor it goes to the uh, wheel spindle and the wheel bearing which is you know not much sturdier than you can't get much sturdier than that but anyway i think it looks pretty cool the truck looks pretty cool there from the side i don't know i really uh, i'm really excited about this race anyway there it is and you know as i said the other trucks now this looks like it's going pretty slow and it, it might be going slow you know it probably is but the point is this truck um and again they have a they they engineered the suspension on this truck uh to take a kind of these uh, uh uh wheel motors on the, the production truck so this is a very fine-tuned suspension on this truck and I said they probably increased, the, certainly they put better, you know, a whole different shock system in and so forth. But, uh, you know, the travel is uh, increased. But what, what I'm saying is between the weight distribution and the torque vectoring and the traction control, this truck is probably going to be smoother than the regular trucks. It's probably not going to jump around as much. As it, and, it, and uh, you know, I think it's going to make a difference and also it came to my mind you know regenerative braking because you know 
they do they they do slow down and uh, uh, in different parts of this course and and uh, uh, that may also get them through range wise as well the regenerative braking which I'm sure is enabled on this truck. Ah, there it is. And uh, again, let's just see if we can go back on that and just get that little. Just we'll just go through there and just. There, see, see how it's travel, see the travel, and uh, it is again not jumping around as much. It's the regular trucks, way cool. I'm very excited about it, and uh, I don't know if I can uh, slow this down. We're gonna try to just get to some of those. Uh, sequences they got there see if we can see the wheel movement a little better oh there we go now you see what I'm talking about let's just look at this segment real quick here there it is look how smooth it's it's really running smooth and that no wheels coming off the ground uh, really good wheel travel there again that traction control that balance of that truck and we get a little, well, let's see, they're still staying on the ground there. You know, you can look, if you look at regular race footage from this race, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll put some of that in this video. But anyway, that's the truck, the E414. This is world history, world premiere, the first ever electric pickup truck to run the Baja. Fantastic. I mean, I'll tell you, what a great looking truck. It is badass, and I am really pleased with this performance. This thing is running good. They got it tuned out. I'll tell you what. I like the graphics, too. I like the look of it. I think it looks great. Badass. Great truck. Look at that. Them two, those Bethel brothers, they did a great job on that. All right. That's it. All right, I am excited. This truck, I think this truck is going to do well in this race. I just want to leave you guys with this last promo for this race. Are you, uh, you got to get fired up. I just love racing, but this is what's going to be happening down there this weekend. And the endurance is going to be running in this first ever. See these trucks? Now you see them jumping around. Now the endurance is a lot smoother. Ah, oh, that's badass, huh? Very exciting race. Now look at this. Whoa! So cool. There we go. Yeah, I'll tell you. Now this is where I think the endurance is going to shine in these whoops. You know, these are the whoops. Uh, there's a Baja bug. A quad class. Uh, that's a spec truck, or I think that's spec truck. That's a trophy truck there. There you go. Anyway, guys, you should go. I think it's going to be on the X Games. I think X Games is going to put it on TV. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Creepy music's going to start next. Uh -huh.